All right, welcome to part two, Road to Adana. Okay, there we go. So we actually, I, I sent the elevator down. I shouldn't have did that. Let's send, let's bring it back up. Ornamental scroll work. Uh, so now that you say that, I feel like I've seen cartouches before Koneko, but I'm just, I just wasn't familiar with what they were called. I didn't realize they had a name. All right, so we actually need to go down the elevator. How are you doing today, Scrub, and also Death? Are you having a lovely, wonderful, beautiful Sunday? I hope so. Happy last weekend of Pride of June. Spin, spin, spin. Okay. So we're going to go back out here. And now that we understand what Saavedra is going for, or going through, it makes what he's doing so much more sad. He's set this up copying Atris so that he could figure out how to escape. He's trapped, and the only thing he knows how to do is try to think like Atris so he can figure out how to get out. He doesn't have good memories, so he can't fully remember his wife's face, but he's got this drawing here, which is as close of an approximation as he can do, to try his best to remember her. So it's very sad. It's very sad. He's been trapped here for um, what amounts to like 20 years. All right, so now we're actually going to go out this side, which we didn't do before. Finish my stats class. It was a final week, so I'm quite happy. It looks like I'm finishing with a B or a B plus. Fuck yeah, good job. Still waiting on the final project to be graded, but it's in that range. Nice. Good job. I love that. Yeah, Saavedra is very sad. It's very sad what Saavedra is going through. Okay, so on this side, we've got a fun little, we've got a fun little, like, little, like, hut-looking thing. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to push this. A squishy, a squishy plant. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, no, we have a cute friend that makes a cute noise and has a cute face. Oh, my gosh. If we hadn't already bonked the brothers, I'd say bonk them again, right? They're pretty bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this guy. Okay, give him a little lily pad. And look at this. Look at this friend. <gasps> oh my god. It's a fucking Pokemon. It's 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 amazing. Okay, so he squeaks and the, the plants go like and then he eats the plants. Okay, so let's come over here. And um and we're actually gonna climb up like this. And right here is <laughs> Vegeta, it's a Pokemon. That's right, Scrub. So we're gonna climb up here and we've got this plant which can amplify the chirps. And ah, oh, then these bubbles can grow. Yummy. All right, and then we can go up here and we can cross this bridge. We can cross the bubble bridge. Don't worry, Koneko, there is another reference too. Spoilers, spoilers. I love him. I want a plushie of, he's called a squee. I want a plushie of him. He's the best. Oh my god, it's like I'm tearing up just thinking about him. Okay, so then we have this guy right here, and oh, this looks kind of familiar. So this particular tusk matches the bird symbol, um, which if you look around, you can figure that out. It is. It looks like so fluffy and sleek at the same time. I bet it's I bet it's got like rabbit fur that's like really so super smooth, you know? In my imagination, it's got like rabbit fur. Okay, so here's what we want to do. So we want to set this with the combo that we learned. So this is position number one. Position number two is like down here, I think. Position number three is down, and let's look at my notes. Yeah, position number three is down here. And then position number four, oh wait, yeah, is here, here. Is that right? That's right. When I get enough experience to make plushy patterns, Koneko, I would so buy one. I would so buy a plushie of that. If it existed, I would so buy it. Totally buy it. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. Here's a book, Adana. Wow, new world. Let's go to Adana, guys. Yummy. 
what do you do? what do you have to eat, Koneko? Okay, so we are in a giant tree in the middle of the ocean. It's called um, Adana, but basically um, this is this is the world tree. Okay, this this is the world tree. So if we look through here, we can see that there's a linking book back to Jananin through that little plant. All right, and so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down here, and you can see there's the ocean, vast ocean. Some fries, oh, I had some french fries for a snack yesterday, it was good. And there's this little like twisty guy. So we are gonna go on the Adana roller coaster ride. Um, Adana roller coaster ride. And you just go up, up, up. All right, <clears throat> so then if we come up here, what is this? <gasps> Bird mom. Wow, bird mom feeding her babies. And we can get a better look at them through here. <laughs> up, up, up to the heavy side layer, yes. <laughs> so this is our other best friend, this beautiful little bird. Everything in this world is freaking beautiful. I love it. Um, okay, so then what we're gonna do is continue on around this way and through this yellow path. So here's another another twisty, but it's closed. Um, okay, Mama Bird flies away. Bye, Mama Bird. You can bring me some food next. Not worms, though. I want french fries. See you soon. I hope you have my french fries. Okay, so there's another twisty, but he's closed. Um, so we're gonna continue this way. And then there's these palm fronds over here that we can boop. Press the squishy and it moves. Okay. And then there's this right here. So we can open up the sunflower and we can direct the light around different places, okay? So that is good to know. I'm just double checking my quick little notes here. Um, okay. That's it, okay. So you can already get back to Jananin very quickly. All of the worlds are like this. This is part of what makes Mist 3 Exile so much more, um, so much easier is that when you get to a new world, like you're really not trapped there. You just have to navigate around very briefly and you'll find the linking book back to Jananin. So you could easily like give up and, uh, and go somewhere else. It's like no big deal. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I knew there was something before I did this. Okay, so now what we wanna do is put the light right here and do you hear that sound? <gasps> it exploded. And now the plant, it was thirsty. It was closed because it was thirsty and um, we got it some water. So it's not thirsty anymore and it opens up. Okay, so now we can go back down. And we can ride this one. Whee! Now we go down. And I don't look because I don't want to trigger my simulation sickness. Because it's very spinny. It's very spinny. Don't look. Don't look at the spinny. I'm just listening to see when it's done. Don't look at the spinny, Karen. Don't look at the spinny. This ride takes forever. Okay, it's done. <laughs> I got popcorn. If it doesn't fill me up, I'm gonna get do chorizo tacos. Oh my God, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. We're having a ham today. Okay, so then now we're down here and we can go this way. And what is this? <gasps> it's a beautiful squid Pokemon. Oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. Okay, I love it. Also, absolutely beautiful this is my best friend. And it can zap, zap, and then the plants are like, ooh. Um, so that's what he does. So then we're going to come down here. I think this is right. 
let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. This way. Okay. And then there's this. Very interesting. We can click it. And this one of those melon flowers that we popped before. And when we press on the button, it fills up with water. It's filling up with water from that pool. So there's our squid friend. So our squid friend is now in the melon. And if we turn around right here, there's some more pages. So as we walk through these worlds, we're going to get additional pages of Saavedra's journal that we can read. I have desecrated the poem he placed in the columns. I could no longer stand to see Narayan's artistry in his world. I think I can do something with sap to cover the second one, but I'm not sure what to do about the island. I don't know how to alter the current. Perhaps if I bring in some of the unusual floating stone from Amateria, something about the molecular composition of the rock in that age causes it to attract and repel other stone quite forcefully. Maybe if I introduce some of it to the soil on the island, it will interfere just enough to damage the last poem. I'll have to conduct some experiments. And then we're back to pages that we have read before. So we pick up these new pages. It's going to insert them into the journal. And the reason why you can get back to Jananan after just doing a little bit in each world is because these pages will give you clues to uh, puzzles in other worlds, right? So you might get this and be like, oh, I understand something in the other world. I need to go back there. Okay, so you'll pick those up a couple of times throughout our, our journey. Okay, so then after we do that, okay. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. This way. Because it's the 360 view, sometimes it's not always clear where you gotta walk. I think I'm. I thought I was supposed to go this way. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now we've got this log with more of those pink bubbles that we saw before. So we're gonna cross this. And what? Our bird friend's in trouble, you guys. Our bird friend's in trouble. Oh no. Okay. So then what we have to do is we have to, we have to help our bird friend. We just heard distressed noises. A blind play playthrough of this game sounds stressful. This one's actually the easiest one of, of the, of the three missed games that we've played so far. It's not too bad. It's really not too bad, uh, doing a blind playthrough. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't supposed to go that way. I don't think. Where's the vine? I know I'm supposed to find a vine next. Maybe it's back here. Maybe it's up this guy. Oh, well we can do this. Okay, we do the light and that gives us this guy right here. Okay, yes, yes, this is where we're supposed to be. All right, so you can see there's this vine and you can pull it down and you can try to swing this way but the log kind of makes you do an annoying little jerky loop and then you, you can't go. You can't really swing swing far. But here we can swing over here. And we've got another fun little puzzle. So let's do this. And that's gonna pull this trap up. And now we're gonna have to catch something with our trap. Or that's what you're supposed to think. So we're gonna knock one of these little nuts down and we actually don't want the nut to stay here because we're not trying to trap anything. This is a natural world. We're not trying to upset the balance. So we actually wanna roll the nut right here. And then what we're gonna do is go back. Oh no, we gotta go this way to go back. Whee! Slide down. And then we're gonna go back here. It's another squee, a fluffier one. Okay, and we don't want to catch him, we just want to startle him so that he can go squeak at the bubbles. And then there goes the log. It couldn't handle it anymore. So now, we can pull this down again, and we can actually swing over here.
All right. <clears throat> now we're on this side. And we've got another lantern that we can do for this leaf. All right. And then I think we're supposed to go down this way next. The squee is free! That's right. <gasps> What's this? It's one of those plants. It's one of the plants that he had a sample of and it's like jiggling. Why are you jiggling, plant? What's wrong? <gasps> Mama bird's trapped. Oh no. So we have to help her. All right. So we're gonna come on this way. And around here. And look, it's another melon. Okay, so this lights up this mural. So this is very interesting. So let's think about what we know so far. Um, who has been here? Who has been here? Atris, Cirrus, Akinor, and Saavedro. Okay, so who is most likely to have painted this? Let's look at it. So this is probably Cirrus and Akinor teaching some people about the art and how they got there, okay? Now, Cirrus and Akinar, if you remember from Mist, they clearly believe that whenever they're writing ages, that they are creating these people, okay? They don't think that the people spring forth from the world they created. They believe like they're they're creating it. They're not like building a link to, to a world. They're, they're making a world. That's what they believe. Atris is a little more loosey-goosey with what he believes. He doesn't necessarily believe like he created the people or owns the people, but Cirrus and Akinar definitely believe this. So they're, they're preaching and, oh, here's a sad guy in the corner. Who's that? That's probably Saavedro, okay? So this is very interesting. You can see these trees and these like got these like bubbles on top and they kind of are like, the branches are like weaved in and out of these bubbles. So that's very interesting. All right, so we're gonna come down here after seeing that. And did I go the right way? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's watch this. What's the matter, Atrus? Can't remember how things work? Yet you explained this class so well when we first spoke of it in Orion. I want Cirrus and Akinar to learn everything they can, Savidro. First from Amateria, Idana, Voltaic, and finally from Narayan. When my boys come to see your people, I want them to see Narayan's traditions and work so they can see how civilization can balance age. Do you know what they did when they finally came to us? You never came back. After class was over, you took your boys away, and you never came back. Cirrus and Akinar did. Okay, so, Savedro trying to help Atris understand that um, his sons did a lot of damage to the people in the worlds, which he kind of knew that they were doing that, but... It's a little more real now with a victim of theirs explaining it. Okay, so we're going to go back up the way we came. I just wanted to show you guys that message down there. So we're going to go back up here. All right, and instead of going down that side, we're going to go down the right side. And we've got these, these, beautiful, these beautiful blue irises. Okay, very cool, right? So if we look through there, you can see there's a leaf over there that's curled up. And then we're gonna come over here, and this one, this one's lit up, so it's reflecting the light. And we can do this, and then it should reflect to that leaf. Did I do the right one? I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one, okay.
No, I did the right one. Okay, I have to do this one. I remember, you gotta bounce it between the three. Right? That's not right. Let's try again. There it is. I just didn't go left enough. Okay, so now this one is pointed at this leaf and it will uncurl. So now it's a bridge. Now when we go back down here, we should be able to cross. I'm gonna go this way. And there we go, now we can get across here. And we're gonna come up this log. <coughs> I think there's pages here, so I was just checking my notes. Pretty sure there are. Okay, well, we'll do the next puzzle and check them for a second for the pages. Okay, so there's this sunflower here that is pointing at this guy right here. All right, so let's go back. The message from Savedro. Where was it? This right here? I'm trying to remember where the clicky is for the bubble. Okay, so it's right there. That's where he is now. It's down there. Let's get down there. Wrong way. Now, one of the drawbacks of the 360 view is like stuff like this, where I'm like, wait a second, where is that? Where's the clicky for that? Okay. It's here somewhere. It's right. Ah, oh, here we go. There it is. So remember the sunflower is pointed at that right there and so that should tell you you're gonna need to pop it just like we did before so let's go back down here and let's bounce the light where's the sunflower The poor squid's going through vines all the time. It is, it is, but it loves it. It's its favorite. Okay. Maybe this one isn't how you do it. Come on. Okay, let's go back to the original. Is it this one? Yeah, because I have to... Can I point you? I don't think I can point you. Am I supposed to point that one? I don't think I can mess with that one. I think I can't move that lens flower. I think I can only move 
those two. I can't get behind him to move him around. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so squid friend's there. And we need to... Go to the leaf. And let's check on our sunflower. Hi, Queen. Are you here to help me with the game? Okay, let's peek at our sunflower again. Okay, it is pointed at that, though. What am I doing wrong? Okay, yes, sunflower is pointed there. And that lens flower is pointed at it, right? Right. He's there. Oh, I just went back down the wrong way. I meant to go the other direction. So I can't, I can't point you at the sunflower. You can't go any more left. The kitties want to see the squee. Everybody wants to see the squee. The squee is the best. Yeah, so you're supposed to stay there. I'm supposed to move. It's got to be this one. I'm supposed to move this one. To bounce to the other. Right? But it's not working. really can't get behind that one. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, cause this is just going to take me back up. <clears throat> All right, Karen, what are you doing wrong? The answer has to be back where the sunflower is. So let's get back to where the sunflower is. has to be something we missed over here. Okay, so there's our sunflower. Aha, it's that we didn't walk up this path. This is it, this is the other one. Okay. You got a point there. All right, all right. That should do it. Oh, we went the wrong way. Ha! That's where we're supposed to go next. I didn't mean to turn that way. Didn't mean to turn that way. Okay, let's go back. All right. Do this again. All 
right, now we should be able to point this to the other one. And there we go. Did it. Now he's electrocuting the roots. Oh, it's the roots to the pitcher plant. <gasps> Birdie friend is free. Okay. Yay, Birdie is free. Okay, so now we can go back. <clears throat> right? Oh no, I gotta get on the leaf, don't I? Yes, I have to get on the leaf to get to the, yep, okay. Let's go back. Oh my gosh. There's so much little backtracking in this little spot. The Pokemon plug timed that too perfectly, right? Yeah, the bird is free, the squid has a new home. Everybody's happy. Okay, let's go back to the lens flowers. We gotta unroll the leaf again. I forgot about that. Okay, let's click here. Let's unroll the leaf. Yeah, this one. Oh, let's visit him. See how he looks. You like your new pool? New pool with lots of fun things to electrify. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to our leaf. Excuse me. Okay. Now we go up here. And this is another one that, like, it's kind of difficult to know that you're supposed to turn, like you're supposed to be able to look down here and see that there's another path like here, but because of the 360 view, it's like really hard to figure out. But anyway, that's where you go. And then you come down here and then there's a vine and we're gonna go down. Right down. Okay, oh, there, wait, there was pages that we missed. There was pages that we missed. Shoot. Okay, well, you can still go. You can go back up. So if you need to go back up like I do right now, you can ride this guy. Come on. Take me. This is like a climbing plant. He'll climb up for you. Okay. I think there was pages. And then he climbed back down. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's pages here somewhere. There we are. Okay, let's read them. The book sits on the floor of the tusk, its swirling panel reaching tentacle-like arms out to grab me. I want to close my eyes, to shut out these false illusions before they suck me into the fog. I do not want those swirling arms to touch me. Why? Why am I so afraid of his book? I want to remember. I must. I think, I think this man may have come to our village, but he was younger then, dark-haired, tall, wearing those same strange flowing brown robes. He carried a book in his hands, then too, and he's always using it, always writing down notes. His eyes are covered by thick glasses, but his face is warm and friendly. He tells me his name. He says, it's Atris. I remember now. His name is Atris. Atris says he's come to our village from a faraway place because he wanted to learn about the tree. He says he'll only stay a while, doesn't want to stop our endless labors. He says he wants to help, if we will let him. Oh, Tamara, why did we let him? Keep writing, Saavedra. Write everything down. This Atris stayed with us for months. I taught him how to trim the delicate lattice roots, how to splice old and new growths together so the walls of our houses will grow strong. I tell him the traditions of the weave. How, by using the spores to support the growing branches, we keep the lattice tree alive. He wants to learn everything I know. He wants Narayan to survive. I take him to the rift, to where the sea flows through the gaps in the world. Steam flows up from the waterfall. The puffer spores are ready to take flight. We stand in the shadows of dusk and watch the spores begin to rise. He says they look like pearls against the sky. Then he points to one of the spores. It's smaller than the rest, small enough to fit the niche wed woven into the branches that morning. Its skin is milky white, with just the finest touch of pink. That one, Atris said. 
That should support your new daughter's room perfectly, I think. I remember I nodded, then I raised my pipe and played. Atris stood beside me, holding his breath, as my song drew the hollow spores in close. As soon as it was near, he threw the net and dragged it in. This is what I remember. This is why I said he could send his sons. Okay, so Atris was there, and he really impressed his kindness upon Saavedro, and he decided that he should trust him and trust his sons. So, you know, that was a mistake. Just because he could trust Atris didn't mean he could trust Sirius and Akinar. Like the speculative biology in these ecosystems, yes, the squee fits a small rodent niche, birds clearly medium-sized, yes, insect eater, the squid is most likely scavenger, feeding on the plant material and small animals that fall into the pool. Yes, I think the same thing. I think this, I also think the squid is a scavenger. Um, okay, so we've come down, and we're going to come down this way. Come on, like that. There we go. Okay, and look at this. This is this giant bud that seems to be at the bottom of the tree where we've got this pool of fresh water. So outside I imagine is salt water and inside is fresh water that's feeding the tree and this bulb. So we're gonna come down here and then we've got this lens flower. Okay, so we wanna point the lens flower where is it? Is it at the... No, yeah, okay. No, we point it here to make the... See the antenna rise up? That's what we want to do. Okay, then we're going to go back. Let me see where I am in my notes. <laughs> okay, so this is another turn that's kind of hard to see. So let me see if I can find it. So there's these little mushrooms on the path that are supposed to clue you in that you can turn there. But like, I always miss them and walk back and forth like 50 freaking times before I can see them. But they're like, aha, these guys. Got it the first time this time. Okay, so if you come down this way, so there's this blue root that you can go into and you can get much closer. So you can see like it's open, there's these bugs right there. So we're gonna come around this way and we're gonna press this. Send some spores up. And then the bugs then decide to move based on the spores. So you can see that. Okay. So how do we get them to stay permanently moved? So there is another plant we have to mess with. I'm trying to remember where he is. Is it here? Yes, it's here. Okay. So there's another palm plant. I'm thinking about how terrible the pollen would be and wondering how much how my allergies would be acting up. Well, the good news is, is you're not native to here. So your body wouldn't have allergens built up to anything here. So they wouldn't affect you. So good news. You can enjoy. Um, you don't have to worry about allergies. Okay, so now that we move those palm fronds and we blocked the sunlight, we can send the spores up and move the bugs and they won't get reattracted back. So, okay, so now the bugs go off to do their own little bug thing. Okay. And now we get in this blue root. There's pages in here too. Yes, there they are. Okay. The final painting is almost done. It's been hard to work in the heat, but he must see everything that happened. As he follows the instructions I've left him, he'll feel the pain I've suffered. If he doesn't, perhaps both of them, both of us, will die. Okay, so he's saying that he is doing these paintings for Atris. Either that or your body decides, oh my goodness, there's so many foreign itchy things and overreacts. <laughs> no, we're going to think positively. No, no reactions. No reactions. I like to imagine that because I love Adonis so much. Like, I want to go to there. Okay, so we come up to this plant and we're going to climb up here and we're going to pull this down. This is just a big one. It's just a big one of the little one. And then the spores go up. Okay? The spores go up. And who's going to show up from the spores for the big plant. 
It's our bird friend that we freed. We freed the birdie mama, and birdie mama's gonna come take us back up to the top. Thanks, bird mom. I'm waiting for my french fries still. Okay, so, wow, she brought us back. She brought us back up. So let's climb out and fly down. And here we have this symbol. So remember we had blank pages in the back of Saavedra's journal, so we're gonna pull one out and we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw this symbol. You actually don't have to write this down. The game writes it down for you. So that's very nice of it. All right. So we've got that. And then we can just keep going. Right? This way? Yeah, this way. And ah, here we go. Back to Jananin. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And that's it. That's Adana. Wasn't she beautiful? We're back to Jananin now. So we saw Saavedra put a piece of paper here to make this thing do things. So let's try it. And the paper disappears into the ether. The egg rises and we get a little video. Not so easy, is it, Atris? Running like a rat through a maze, looking for some sign that'll help you save your world. Is it over here? Is it over there? Is it someplace I can't find? Cirrus and Akinar didn't care about saving Narayan. All that talk about fixing instabilities, rewriting the age so that we would be free to live our lives, that was just talk to hide the truth of why they had come. But we believed their lies, Atris. So we abandoned our traditions, forgetting that those traditions were keeping Narayan alive. Oh, Saavedra. When the lattice tree started to die, I followed them here to tell them what they had done. And they laughed. They said they would never fix Narayan. They said that they had already taken everything it had worth saving. So my dear old friend, Atris, I brought you to this place where your education begins. Find the remaining two symbols and then come see what your boys did to Narayan. Okay. So Saavedra is very upset, blames Atris for his plight, and he has every right to. Thank you so much, Scrub. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, okay. It's Wormtail. It's the same guy that's Wormtail, and he just, I mean, he's so good. He, like, his performance in this game is so good. Um, so, so yeah, so poor Saavedra, absolute tragedy. So I actually need just a quick little um, stretch break so so what we're going to do is we're actually going to pause here so this is going to be part two for for youtube so if you are still watching the vods on youtube thank you so much for hanging out with me um don't forget to like comment subscribe below and of course as always don't forget to make it a great day